God. Glory to your name, God. Today, yes, God. God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah, God. We just Thank bless you, you on the day, God. We bless There's your name. There's none like you, God, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. High, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we thank you that you sit high and low, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you that your arms are never too short to say, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that your ears are never too too dull to hear, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you that you are a strong tower, God, in the time of these, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And the righteous friends to you, God, and we are safe, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we just bless you on the day, God, in the name of Jesus. God. We thank you, God, for this thank anniversary, you, God. Hallelujah, God. Had it not been from you, for you, God, we don't know where we'll be today, thank God. You, but we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank we you, bless you today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, I just God. want to thank the Lord for being able to be here. I thank the Lord for this opportunity, and I don't take it lightly that he gave me this opportunity to come before his people. Hallelujah. 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 I just um, want to say um, thank you, Pastor Leader. Thank you, Prophetess. And everybody else is in the house acknowledging you all, ministers, thank you, thank you, pastors. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're talking about moving mountains. We're talking about faith. It takes faith to move mountains. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11, 1 states, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, is the evidence of things not seen. Now, not then, when, yesterday, but today, now, right now, yes. faith it is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. It is impossible to please God without faith. He is a water, a reward of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is, is a principle, it's action, and it's power. It takes faith to move God. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. There are some things that um, sometimes in life we go through things, and um, we don't understand why we go through these things. But these things are for our making. Yes. And when we're going through these trials and tribulations, we got to hold on. We got to believe God. We just got to hold on to his hand and believe God. He's going to pull us out of the situation. But if we just believe it, you got to believe it. You got to, if you believe it, you can see it. Amen. Faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I'm going to tell you the story about, I know you've heard the story about Peter. Peter. The disciples, Jesus sent the disciples out on water. And what happened was he, he sent them out on the boat and he sent them ahead of him. So after he sent them out and stuff, he went up and he went out and prayed to God. And um, the disciples was out on the water. And uh, about the fourth hour, Jesus decided to go out there on the water while the disciples was out there. And um, they saw Jesus uh, coming. And they didn't know it was Jesus at the time. And at the time, it was like, it was dark, the waves were going, and um, Peter, Peter just rose up, you know, and he said, Lord, is that you? And um, Jesus said, it is I. And um, Peter um, asked him, he wanted to come. He said, it's you, Lord, um, have me to come to you. Yes. And Jesus told him to come out on the water. And Peter had the faith. He didn't even think about it. He was going to Jesus, the master. So he just stepped out of the boat and started walking. <laughs> and as the waves started raging and stuff, it was like a distraction, the wind was going. And all of a sudden, Peter thought about his circumstances, and he started to sink. And as Peter started to sink, he said, Lord, save me. And Jesus Amen. reached out his hand, and he pulled Peter, Peter up, put her back in the boat. Jesus got in the boat with Peter. And when Jesus got in the boat with Peter, all of a sudden, the, calm, the storm and everything just calmed. Everything calmed. See, now, when we're out there and we're going through these trials and tribulations, sometimes we may feel like God is not with us, but he's Amen. with us, along Amen. with the storm. Jesus is in the midst of that storm. You just got to hold on and believe that God is there with you. You know, sometimes you may not feel him, but, you know, you, you can't Amen. see him, you know. You may be able to hear him, but you got to believe he's there with you in that storm, taking you forth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus said, 
if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can say to this mountain to move from here. Amen? Amen. It was when the, um, this, uh, one of the man, they didn't have a name for him. But anyway, his son had, uh, he was demon possessed. His son was demon possessed. And uh, they, he brought him to the disciples and he wanted the, uh, the disciples to cast the demon out. But the disciples couldn't cast the demon out because they didn't have the faith. You know, it took faith to be able to cast that demon out of it. So, um, what he did, he brought the, his son to Jesus. And when he brought his son to Jesus, Jesus uh, cast the demon out of his son. His son had been um, falling out, falling in fire and everything. It was just, he was just possessed, you know, doing some crazy stuff. Stuff we think is crazy, man, you know. And uh, Jesus uh, told the demon to go. And the demon left the boy. And he... The disciples, they went to Jesus later. They said, why couldn't we cast them out? Because Jesus said, you of little faith. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, have faith in God. You know, if you believe, you can do it. You Amen. know what I'm saying? Believe Amen. it, see it. Paint a picture. You know, you can do it. You know, there are um, a lot of things I went through um, growing up. And um, as a child, um, a lot of people don't know, as a child, I was kind of, um, I, I was kind of to myself, um, growing up in a family of seven, it was seven of us. I'm the third oldest child, in, the third oldest in the girls. And um, it was seven of us, and um, I went through like, um, <coughs> I went through molestation, mm. and uh, I went through, um, as I got older, you know, uh, this was by family members and stuff. Um, they started raping me. And um, I, I, they told me not to tell. You know, I would go to family member house if they wanted me to spend the night. I would go to their house, spend the night with them and stuff. And in the middle of the night, their boyfriend would get up and come into the room. Mm. Like, oh my God, you know. So um, I, I was ready for the break of day. As soon as the break of day came, I just left. You know what I'm saying? And just going through a lot of stuff that I went through, I learned to trust God. Amen. I had to learn to trust God. And um, I was broken, and a lot of people didn't know, you know. And because of, I went through that, um, I started turning to drugs, alcohol, um, clubbing, and um, I became a nis meniscus. I, I just started sleeping around with men, you know. I didn't know, you know. And... I thought it was love. I was looking for love in all the wrong places, you know, just sleeping around. And um, I would um, uh, go to church and stuff, but um, um, I, I was just still feel, you know, I, I wouldn't feel good about it. I feel so broken, and I knew that things had to change in my life. And um, as I got older, um, I started. Um, Realizing as I was in church, you know, I, I, I would be praying, I'd go home, I'd get high, I would pray, and I asked God, I said, Lord, deliver me from this, you know. I got so high that I didn't even feel like I was getting high anymore. I was smoking marijuana, and I was getting so high, you know, and I just kept praying. I, I get so high, and I just prayed. I said, God, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. And little did I know the devil was tricking me, because sometimes I get so high, and then I'm just sitting there, and the devil gets talking to me, go see what so-and-so is doing. I go, okay, and I get out there, and I get to driving around and stuff, and I'm driving around, and um, Lord have mercy, I'm out there, and it's like my mind starts flipping, I'm driving, I don't know where I'm going, then I just stop, and I start praying and crying, I said, God, please take me home, please take me home, I don't even know how to get back home, but God, just get me back home, I'm going to stop this, get me back home, you know, and I, I would just pray and just pray, but one day, God delivered me. You, he Jesus. delivered me because I believed that he was going to deliver me from the drugs, you know. And he did. He delivered me from the drugs. And um, he, he just brought me. He brought Amen. me in. Praise know, God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory Thank to God. You, praise God. Amen. I was just praising the Lord. Amen. I'll that part out. I was just praising the Lord. Amen. Glory to I was God. just praising the Lord. Amen. And, um. I just thank God for that, but I always had faith. I was always a dreamer as a child. Mm -hmm. I would dream and just imagine being in places and doing different things, you know. And then as I got older, I could start saying it. You know, I'm going here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to live here, I'm going to live that. And, you know, then they realized it, that I was speaking because power of life and death is in the talk. Yeah. You, you speak yeah. life, you know. Yeah. And I didn't realize that, you know, until I got stronger into the ministry and stuff. I, I, 
into the church. I, I realized then that, you know, God was, he was just, you know, protecting me then. And as I was speaking it, he was allowing it to happen to show me who, who he was. You know, and I just thank God for that. You know, I'm grateful today for that. You know, and um, I, I just trust God, you know. I mean, and a lot of stuff um, that I've been going through, you know. I, I just believe God's word. If God says he's going to do it, Amen. he's going to bring it to pass. You Amen. know, God's word Amen. will go out, but it will not return void. Whatever Amen. happens, you know, you got to trust in God. No matter what happens. Praise you, God. you got to believe that God's going to bring you through. If you if you need healing, you need to know that God's going to heal you. Yeah, Whatever amen. you're going through, you need deliverance from drugs, from alcohol. God will deliver you. Yeah. Believe it. Get Lord in a God-based God church yeah. and start serving with people mm -hmm. that can help you and mm -hmm. and and they can um they can um equip into you. They can um. I'm trying to say Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God will restore you through these people. Thank you, Jesus. Find people that that lifted up the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for this opportunity. And I just thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Wait, hold up. I'm going to tell you something right now. The devil is a liar. I need to tell you that. I was praising the Lord and the enemy was messing with you. Release what God has put in you. Amen. Somebody, not just us, don't do that. Amen. He's a liar. Finish up. Amen. Amen. I mean, I'm cut this out. That's what I meant earlier. I wasn't cutting out what you were saying. I was praising the Lord and the devil was messing with you. Amen. Okay? He's a liar. Amen. 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 I just thank God. Sometimes, you know, our faith, you know, you can have faith, and your faith can be so strong. You can, you may have a friend, a family member that's sick, and your faith can be so strong that God will heal that individual through your faith. Yes. They may not have the faith that you have. Amen. You know, glory to God. God will heal you, them through another individual. He'll heal them through you. If your faith is strong like that, yeah, and it was when uh, Jesus, uh, there were these men, and it didn't say what type of men they were. But anyway, there were men, and it was four of them. And they took their friend. Their friend was, he was paralyzed, and he was on a mat. They took the mat. They had so much faith, they were trying to get him to Jesus. And as they were trying to get him to Jesus, it was just people everywhere. And where Jesus was, the house was so full, they had the faith to go up on top of the roof. <laughs> God gave them the signs to go up on the roof. Lord, this man down on this mat. And Jesus saw how strong their faith was. You know what he did? He took and held the man because Amen. he was Glory impressed. He was, he, was, um, he was just amazed by his friend's faith. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Your faith. Hallelujah. Glory Thank you, God. Lord. Glory to God. So I just Jesus. praise God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for the woman with the issue of blood. Woman lead for 12 years, yeah. this woman, she she heard about Jesus, she knew about Jesus. Mm. Oh my God, she, she just, she went to every doctor, went yeah. everywhere, yeah. all type of medication, nothing Glory. worked. This Hallelujah. woman, she couldn't be out in public. Mm. And she heard that Jesus was gonna be in this, mm. in this town. Mm. And she she just decided, she won't, this, this is her opportunity to press her way. Jesus. She knew that if she could get to Jesus, Jesus. that she would yes. be healed. Glory. You know, Amen. and this woman pressed her way mm. through the crowd. You know, I know she couldn't be out there and stuff, but she pressed her Press. way in spite of. She mm. pressed her way, Glory. and she touched the hem of his garment. Glory. And when she touched the hem of his garment, mm. she was healed. Glory. Amen. Jesus turned around, he said, who was it that touched mm. me? The mm. disciples said, everybody's out here. Mm. There's all kind of people just thrown on you. Mm. No, he said it was a specific touch. Mm. And he knew that the virtue had come down in his body. Yeah. And Amen. he turned around and it was this lady. Mm. She presented her sins. Jesus. And he said, go, woman, down here. Your sins are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. Said, Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory thank to God. God. Thank you, Just Jesus. have faith. Thank you, he Jesus. said, Amen. if you have faith, the size of a mustard seed, that Ooh, you can tell this mountain to move. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen
Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, O God. Bless your name, O God. You have any words to say? Ooh. 